hello everyone welcome back to the channel so today we'll be looking into another switch element and which is line so before uh, jumping into the properties of the line let's see how the line works right so to plot a line we should be uh, sending the starting point and the ending point right so let's say this is our starting point and this is our ending point so to define any point in our svg view box uh, which is in the x and y coordinate right we should be specifying uh, what are the coordinates for this particular uh, point right so coordinates are defined by x and y right so for example let's say these are like 10 on the x axis and 10 on the y axis for this maybe it's like 100 on the y axis and 200 on the x axis right so to specify any point in svg point can be specified by x and y coordinate and if we specify x and y coordinate for starting point and x and y coordinate for the ending point the line will be getting plotted between these two points so exactly this is how the line works in our svg as well so if you see here in this example we have x1 and y1 which defines our starting point and again x2 and y2 which defines our ending point we have applied some uh, properties to this line like how the what should be the color of your stroke you can apply stroke width like another properties to see like how the line works so let's see in the example like uh, if we can uh, alter few properties and uh, let's see the how output uh, so our goal is to plot this y and x axis so basically this is the example that we'll be extending for the further tutorial so basically uh, we can plot this x and y um, axis through a line because we know the starting point we know the ending point and we can plot a line and we can like um, have a style for this uh, stroke right so uh, so let's get started uh, so I'll define my SVG element so SVG uh, we I'll define my view box as 100% uh, and I won't leave any uh, uh, X uh, minimum width here and SVG here so now this will take entire width so I'll assign some width to my body so width I'll say 500 pixel and height as a 500 pixel you can apply same height and width to this SVG element as well but let's now plot a line okay to plot a line uh, uh, like this so we are leaving some space from here and plotting a line so let's say uh, let's go with uh, 0 as of now as a x uh, starting point so x1 is 0 y1 is 0 and now uh, for y axis x remains 0 right so x2 is 0 and but y2 changes right y2 should be 100 as of now let's say and now we should be coloring this line right so uh, here I'll be applying stroke as a, let's copy from there so it's uh, okay so it's copy it now so we should be seeing some vertical line here right okay so in future we might need to add some labels on the y-axis so that's why I'll be leaving some 30% um, maybe as of now but yeah uh, it depends upon your dimension right 30 is little too much so 10 should be good okay so now it's there okay now the stroke width is little too much so stroke uh, width I'll say 1% and that should uh, okay it's not reduced so you might reduce this to 0 0.5 okay based upon your dimensions of this body this might change okay so now uh, we don't want that much height uh, to be honest so let's go with 300 300 as of now and we might need to leave some space at the top as well so my starting point I'll change to 10 and end point I'll change to 90 so that in future I may uh, utilize some space at the x-axis as well now I have to plot my uh, x-axis now right so my starting point becomes the ending point for this line so I copy this line so my now this x2 and y2 becomes my starting point and again my x will be increasing here up to 90 and my y remains at 90 right 
we have to target this particular point or maybe this point and now you can see right our y and x coordinates are plotted in in future uh, uh, videos we'll be plotting some charts here using rec property